It's great to see you, Adomico. Thanks so much for joining in. Of course. Before we start, I just have to say the fact that you guys are talking about Alyssa Milano, like, I grew up loving Charm, so this was, like, so on beat. Yay! And we're a little bit older than you, Adomico, so we were, like, the who's the boss era. <laughs> but Charmed, we've, we have heard of Charmed. Hey, uh, speak for yourself. You're right, you're right. Big you're fan. Right. Big fan. I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. Well, it's great to see you, and I know you're in New York, but you are, uh, you have your Texas roots. Let's bring the Houston Life family up to date, because you uh, grew up in the Dallas area, right? Yeah, my mom, she worked as a teacher in Dallas, and so she had a home um, in Fort Worth, and so we would, you know, travel all parts of Texas. I even lived in Grand Prairie, um, in Arlington. Like, Texas is no, not foreign to me at all. <laughs> well, good, and you're welcome back anytime. Texas is very welcoming. All right, so bringing us up to, to speed, so New York-based fashion photographer turned filmmaker, you essentially a few years back did a documentary called Dancing in the Dark, and that's sort of when all of these things started happening. You got the attention of the Huff Post, uh, a number of other outlets like IndieWire, Paper Magazine, Vice Magazine, 2018 released Fish, another short film. So um, this was sort of, it sounds like the beginning beginning of, uh, of a budding film career? Well, I, I pray on that. Um, I'm very interested in telling stories that revolve around like queer identity. I feel like we don't ever get to be the center of our own stories. So, you know, I feel like if, I, if I'm complaining about it, why not make an effort to add on to the narrative of queer identity, especially queer black um, I, um, storytelling? Well, what I think is really great, too, is besides your films, and we're going to get into the, the latest one piece here in just a moment, but your YouTube channel where you basically, you're an open book. And what I love about this, too, I, you have fabulous hair, so this might seem like a very surface question, but I love all of your hair YouTube <laughs> videos. I mean, from short to long to, I mean, you, you have this vibe going on with your hair, but that's like, you like to say, I like telling people about me and being comfortable mm -hmm. in my skin. Yeah, um, I feel like for me, like no matter how feminine I am, like, it's, like I'm still, like I identify as a man and that's my gender, but I feel like, you know, I tell people all the time I'm half woman, I'm half man. And I don't know, I, I just love hair. You know, I used to draw it, I used to do it, I do my own hair. Um, I just, I love hair. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you do have great hair, and in addition to directing, writing, doing all the things you do, I know you've styled the films that you have produced. Let's talk about piece that Courtney just mentioned. So you made this film with your own savings, and talk to us about the heart of this film, because it dives into some pretty complex issues, specifically down-low queer relationships. Yeah, um, I feel like... You know, when it comes to being a part of the LGBTQIA, like, you know, family, you know, we are some, we're most of the time fighting for survival. And sometimes we feel like our sexual, you know, identity can like get in the way of that. Um, this story is just, it's, it's supposed to say that like, if you don't win, I don't win. And it's, impor it's important that we stand together in solidarity at the end of the day. It's That's so awesome. true. I mean, and I know that you shot the film in October. You shot it for two days. Uh, the film premiered in April in the Outfest Fusion Film Festival presented by NBC Universal. And there's a way for all of us to be able to see this as well. Yes. So, um, the, you know, it's important that I bring community to, you know, people who are who are queer identity, who identify as queer, um, and all the allies who are interested in the story. So I wanted to share it online. It's going to be online until Friday because we're continuing our film festival journey. Uh, we just got word that we're going to be also premiering with um, the Honolulu Rainbow Film Festival, and there's a lot of other film festivals that are going to be announced soon. So it was just important that like the people who are in community get to see this project first before like it continues on in the cinema arena, if you will. Well. It's really great. The festival circuit, that is a big deal. I know it's a lot of pressure. We are so proud of you, Adomico, Aman, and I know we're out of time, but I do want to point out here that your goal is to continue telling stories of communities who have been historically marginalized and underserved. So thanks so much for everything you're doing. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. You guys are amazing. Thank mm. you. You're amazing too, and thanks for making time for us today, and congratulations. Thank you. And you can head to our website for a link to watch Peace. Just click on the Scene on Houston Life section. Now we're going to send things over to Joe for a